latest episode discussion. Is the true name of the gum gum fruit revealed? Hello everyone, I'm Yui, the Research Lab Director. Today, I'd like to talk about the original One Piece episode 1044. Be careful of spoilers as it contains information near the latest episode. Please make sure to watch till the end. 1. Episode 1043 First of all, a quick recap of the previous episode. The final battle on Onigashima is now in its final stages. With the exception of Kaido, all the leaders of the 100 Beast Pirates have been wiped out and the four emperors, Big Mom, has finally fallen. The only strong enemy left was the other four emperors, Kaido. However, Luffy was unexpectedly defeated when CP0 intervened. Of course, they have revived an imperial order from the five elders to eliminate Luffy, the straw hat, right away. However, after the victor, Kaido, left, a strange rhythm of Dondodot, Dondodot began to sound from Luffy's body. Zunisha hears it and says, I hear the drum of liberation, and for the first time in 800 years, no doubt about it, there he is, Joy Boy, Joy Boy is back. Zunisha suggested that Luffy is the present Joy Boy. 2. Luffy's Resurrection In the long-awaited original episode, 1044, the subtitle was Warriors of Liberation. Luffy, who had fainted after being defeated by Kaido, was asked, What's wrong? Why? I can stand, he muttered as he revived. He added, Even though I lost, I'm having fun. Ha 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 ha. He began to laugh. The sound that Zanisha called the drum of liberation, don da dot, don da dot, was apparently the sound of Luffy's heart. Luffy said, The sound of my heart is interesting too. Laughing, he continues to sound the drum of liberation on the battlefield. There was a theory that Luffy's body was inhabited by Joy Boy's personality, but judging from his reaction in the latest episode, it seems safe to assume that it was Luffy himself. It may be that Luffy has inherited the role of Joy Boy. Those who can use observation haki and begin to notice Luffy's resurrection on the rooftop one after another. Sanji, who has fainted after a battle against Queen, jumps up and says, Luffy? He looks puzzled. Everyone seemed to have also noticed that Luffy was acting strangely. Kid, Law, Hyogoro, and Marco also noticed something strange on the rooftop, but they were somewhat skeptical. Even Kaido was skeptical, saying, What's there on the roof? This suggests that Luffy is now wearing a slightly different atmosphere than before. 3. True Name In the latest episode, the true name of Gum Gum Fruit was finally revealed. Ever since it was discovered that there were devil fruits whose names had been changed by the world government, fans have been discussing the true name of gum gum fruit, such as Nika Nika fruit, Tsugu Tsugu fruit, Kesh Keshi fruit, and so on. The true name of gum gum fruit was finally animal type human human fruit, mythical beast mode Nika. As many fans had expected, this ability is related to Nika, god of the sun, but the name is even more direct than Nika Nika fruit. According to the Five Elders, the body of Nika, God of the Sun, has the properties of rubber itself. The reason why Luffy's body expands and contracts is because Nika, God of the Sun, is a rubber person. This is part I personally did not expect. The Five Elders said, Nika, God of the Sun, is a liberation warrior who fights as he imagines and makes people smile. If he fights as he imagines, does this mean that Nika, human, human fruit model Nika, may have the power to realize his imaginations? As if to show this, Luffy says, I can do everything I wanted to do. After that, he literally fought in unrealistic manner, grabbing and swinging Kaido with one hand and making his eyeballs pop out like in a cartoon. The Five Elders also explained that awakening gives the rubber body more strength and freedom. The only thing that can be obtained by eating human-human fruit model Nika is usually a rubber body, but only after awakening, the original power of Nika, God of the Sun, can be used. The Five Elders also called this ability the most ridiculous ability in the world. By the way, Mr. Oda, the author, once said that he chose Luffy to be the most ridiculous ability holder as a psychic of Gum Gum Fruit. I never thought that Mr. Oda's answer in SBS would be recovered in the main story as the Five Elders line. I am sure I was not the only reader who shivered while reading the latest story. 4. Hiyori's Anger Meanwhile, at the treasure house on the second floor of Onigashima, Hiyori and Orochi continued their conversation. Orochi is buried in the rubble, unable to move, and is unable to transform because he is nailed to the karoseki. When Orochi learns that his favorite Komurasaki is actually Hiyori, 
tries to escape by saying, Oden was my favorite too, and I was used by Kaido. But of course, there is no way he can fool Hiyori with such lies. Orochi, who was still making excuses at this stage, was told, My name is Hiyori Kozuki. Watch your mouth, you rude man. Hiyori is furious. Then, Kazembo, the name given by Kanjiro on his deathbed, appears. The Kazembo spreads the fire in a short period of time and it is quite ferocious, but he was weakened by the blast from Big Mom's fall, and the reason he appeared before Orochi was to report this failure. I want to give up. However, Orochi, not knowing that Kazembo was weakened, thought reinforcements for him had arrived and said, This is the luck of the powerful. He laughed loudly. However, Kazembo ignored the order and snuggled up to Orochi, then burned Orochi's body. At this point, Orochi is still alive, but he will not be able to survive if his entire body is burned while he is unable to use his abilities. Orochi has been repeatedly revived by the power of Yamata no Orochi, the creature of Japanese myth, but it is likely that he will be eliminated at this point. 5. Activation of Gear 5th And particularly shocking in the latest episode was the appearance of the Gear 5th. Luffy, who has drawn out the power of human human fruit model Nika, said, This is my highest point. This is it. Gear 5th. He declared, This will be Luffy's ultimate form. Luffy, in his Gear 5th state, also seemed to be releasing a powerful sour hockey, and just by transforming, the enemies in the Skull Dome fell one after another. Even Kaido is so intimidating that he breaks out in a cold sweat when he sees the rooftop. He grabs Kaido with his huge hand, swings him around, slams him into the ground. Luffy displays extraordinary power, so it is hard to believe that he is battling the four emperors. The five elders' explanation that he can gain even more powers by awakening is correct. In addition, he bounces back Kaido's heated breath by turning the ground into a rubbery substance. And Luffy laughed loudly. The way he fights as he was playing is a true demonstration of the world's most ridiculous ability. By the way, Luffy's head in the Gear 5th state was shaped like a flame. His hair was just like the silhouette of Nika, God of the Sun. I wonder if the fact that his head had turned to mush at the end of the last episode simply means that he was in the process of transforming into Nika, God of the Sun. And I am curious about a robe of feathers like smoke around his neck. The smoke in Gear 4th was like a robe of feathers too, but the smoke in Gear 5th looks even more individualistic or more like Kaido's flame cloud. Perhaps Luffy's feather-like smoke also has the ability to levitate. There is still a lot to consider about the ability of Human Human Fruit, the mythical beast model, Nika. That's all for today. The latest episode was full of shock after shock, and there are many things to consider. I wonder what kind of ability is hidden in the Human Human Fruit, the mythical beast mode, Nika. I can't wait for next week even more than usual. Please subscribe to my channel and hit that like button. This was brought to you by Yui, the research lab director. See you!